Twilight engulfed the forest as I decided to take a stroll. Dark shadows played on the old trees, creating an atmosphere of mystery and secrecy. My path led me deeper into the dense woods, and the darkness enveloped me with its invisible cloak. My steps echoed like whispers in the silence, and I delved into my thoughts as the darkness consumed everything around. However, something in the air felt strange, as if the balance of nature had been disrupted. My heart slowed its rhythm, sensing something ominous. Passing by an old lichen-covered stone, I noticed that the forest around me had grown quieter. Even the rustle of leaves under my feet seemed muffled, as if nature held its breath, anticipating something unknown. Something flickered in the bushes, but it was challenging to discern through the thick foliage. Dark clouds veiled the moon, plunging the forest into semi-darkness. I looked up, feeling as if someone or something was watching me. And there, in the shadows of the trees, I saw it. A colossal monster, as if from a nightmare, stretched its limbs towards the treetops. Its skin resembled a dark cloud, and its eyes glowed with bright flames, like gates to the abyss. The air filled with a sinister whisper as the monster moved in my direction. Fear paralyzed me on the spot. Thoughts swirled in my head, but my body refused to respond. The monster's ominous breath drew closer, its eyes piercing me as if delving into the depths of my soul. Suddenly, the forest erupted into a sinister roar, and the monster lunged forward, engulfing the darkness. Its steps echoed a menacing rhythm echoing my own fears. I ran, but the creature pursued me, closing in with every passing moment. The wind whistled in my ears, like an omen of doom, and the forest around me grew darker, as if swallowing me whole. My legs ached and my lungs burned, but I couldn't stop. The monster's gaze was everywhere, and its shadowy claws reached out to me, like enormous spider webs ready to ensnare their prey. Suddenly, in front of me, a wall of dark trees appeared. I couldn't continue running, but as I turned around, I saw the monster about to catch up with me. Its eyes glowed with malevolent light, and the shadows rising around it created the illusion of an infinite hellish space. Then I noticed an invisible path hidden among the trees. At full speed, I veered onto it, unable to see where it would lead me. The path became narrower, and the sinister whisper of the monster faded into the dark depths. The path led me to the edge of the forest, where I collapsed on my knees, exhausted. Around me, the sounds of the night nature echoed, as if expressing regret for what had transpired. The forest was silent as if nothing had happened, but the memory of that monster, its glowing eyes, and ominous roar haunted me, leaving an indelible mark on my soul. Since then, I try to avoid places where shadows stretch into the night and where fiery eyes can hide in the darkness. But the memory of that monster, of its sparkling eyes and sinister roar, haunts me like a shadow forever leaving its imprint on my soul.